This part where they converge, actually, this part is really active. A very active zone for earthquakes, as the B.C. coast has been rattled several times over the last month. Earthquake. Although the epicenters are near Haida Gwaii, residents living in the interior claim they too can feel the shakes. According to the uh, geological survey map, there haven't been any active fault near Kelowna. So uh, you can say the possibility of having an earthquake here uh, very close is very minimal. That being said, Alam and his colleagues at UBCO did conduct a study on how Kelowna would fare during a major earthquake. The study used an example of a magnitude 8 quake with an epicenter that was approximately 200 kilometers away. Even at very low magnitude earthquake, uh, they can uh, get intensified and may produce damage. Downtown area, uh, there might be possibilities of having more damages of these structures compared to other structures. So, Red means more than one building within this region will be damaged. Most damage sustained after a major earthquake will be in the downtown core. Alam does not predict any casualties, but if the big one hits, he does say there will be injuries. Although the risk of having an earthquake in Kelowna is considerably low, there's nothing wrong with being prepared. At Canada Safety Equipment, they can build customized emergency preparedness kits for your family. The kit's going to come in a large bag like this one. We'll have blankets, we'll have first aid supplies, there'll be food rations in the package, there'll be water. Basically, if they come in and they say, I'm a family of five and I want to have an emergency kit to last for approximately seven days, um, that's basically how they'll stock it. There'll be enough food to for seven people or for five people to survive the seven days. Besides having an emergency kit on hand, it's important to know what to do if an earthquake strikes. Stop what you're doing, drop to the ground, cover yourself up with something uh, like a table uh, and hold on until the shaking stops. And then when the shaking stops, that's when people need to be calm and help their neighbor uh, if people are injured and uh, you know put their emergency plan to work. In case a natural disaster does strike the Kelowna area, be sure to check the court emergency website at cordemergency.ca for up-to-date information. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.